No intro dropping this over 20,000 title preloaded launch box image for your PC. Oh man, you gotta check this one out. All the art, all the games, all the systems. You're in retro heaven here. Let's go ahead and have a look. A couple of fixes you gotta do, but ooh, if you get this thing in big box, you get it all working really good. It is a beauty. So let's check it out. 2794, 2794, GX 4000, 25, Arcade Classics, 1414, including like Killer Instinct, uh, all one on one ice, so wrestling games, all the good stuff there. Atari 2600, 635, 5200, 70, 7859, Jaguar, so for these you want to play some Tempest, 54. Atari Lynx, 71. Astrocade, 48. Wonder Swan, 110. Wonder Swan Color, 89. Casio Loopy, 6. Casio PV, 1000, 5. Coley Co. Vision, 140. Commodore 64, 1594. Amiga, 2100. Mmm, those are some good games right there. Arcadia, 2001, 54. Entex Adventure Vision, 4. Super Cassette Vision, 21. Fairchild Channel F, 29. Super Acon, 9. Vetrix, 33. Game Master, 12. Odyssey 2, 71. Intellivision, 141. MSX 1, 598. MSX 2, 153. PC Engine, 159. Super Graphics, 5. Super Graphics, 16, 94. Nintendo 64, 298, pretty much all of them. Nintendo DS, only 32. It's the only kind of the best of on the Nintendo DS. NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, 772. That's all of them. Nintendo Famicom, 290. Nintendo Famicom Disk System, 268. There are some uh, mature games in there, so be careful. Nintendo Game Boy 560, Nintendo Game Boy Color, I believe this is. Oh no, a Game Boy Advance 1124. Then we have Game Boy Color at 529. Nintendo Pokemon Mini. Oh, cool. So those little little button games. You got 21 of those. Nintendo uh, Sat Satellaview. You got your Chrono Trigger. Nice. 67 of those. Sufami Turbo. 15. Virtual Boy. 27. Video Pack Plus G 7400, 27. RCA Studio 2, 5. Sega 32X, 33. Sega Game Gear, 258. Sega Genesis, 776. Cool that it says Genesis, but they've got some Mega Drive pictures in there too. Sega Mark 3, 68. Sega Master System, 276. Sega Pico, 320. Sega SG-1000, 320, or 97, I'm sorry. Sinclair ZX Spectrum, 4,200 titles. So there's a lot of titles right there. Neo Geo, 153, your Metal Slugs, King of Fighters, things like that. Neo Geo Pocket, 10. Neo Geo Pocket Color, 86. Super NES, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, 775. TigerGame.com, 22. Top 100, which just has one game in it. Uh, VTech Creative Vision, 17. Watara Supervision, 63. And that's going to do it. Now, this is just regular launch box. If you don't pay for launch box, you're going to have exactly like this. You can show details, you can change your image view, uh, you still get access to all your settings. But for those of you that pay and have a license, which I highly recommend buying a license, you can have big box mode. You just click big box there and then boot up into big box mode. 
does require a premium license. This has Launchbox has nothing to do with this particularly pre-made image. It's just their front end using it. We don't have to tell you that video games are taking this country by storm. In 1980, Americans spent $3.3 billion playing video games. Some like a sport almost. Parts of it. Coordination and developing patterns. I'll let you release some of your tensions. Yeah, let me I'll let you think for a, for a minute that you're a part of a spaceship destroying aliens that are attacking the Earth. It's good just to sit down and not have to think for a while and just blow things up. This is a good way of taking out your aggressions without doing any harm. All right, and here we are in Big Box. I mean, look at this thing. Now we have the hyperspin-like setup. Jaguar, Lynx, Wonderswan, Wonderswan Color. Let's go to a system that you guys probably want to check out. Amiga. So you got Amiga. You click in. And now you're in big box mode. You have all your titles here. Pretty cool. You can go to the next system over if you'd like. So let's try a Nintendo 64 game. Nintendo 64, we are on a computer right now, so it should run pretty good. Let's pick a game that... Loading. Loading complete. So one of the perks of being on a computer is you can use your processor and your graphics card to play emulators that do require a little bit more specs. Something this uh, image doesn't have on it is it does not have um, Dreamcast, and that's definitely a system that will run on your computer no problem. You can always add that onto uh, your rocket launcher and into your launch box with no problem whatsoever. Okay, so this is working great. Start select does work as an exit, so you shouldn't need a keyboard, but if you were to have a keyboard, that'll work as well. My Xbox 360 controller was already working just fine. You can change your controls per emulator very easily through Rocket Launcher or find the specific RetroArch or whatever core it's using and change those controls. But mine are working just fine. No issues whatsoever. Loading.
Loading complete. As you see, it has a nice little bezel pack already installed for you. Um, these aren't missing artwork, it's just loading. Image type, maybe I can go to, um, wow, and they have all the different images pre-installed 3D boxes. Nice. Boxes. You got boxes, 3D boxes, carts, oh, they got the carts, 3D carts. Wow. Screenshots. Clear logos. Yeah, they got them. Backgrounds. Okay, no backgrounds. And no banners. Okay, let's do logo just because I feel like that's probably the fastest loading out of all the different images. Atari 5200. I know a lot of you out there like it. Loading. Loading complete. So for Nintendo DS games to work, you do have to go through this one step really quick. And we need to go down to Nintendo DS. Nintendo DS main settings, and then there should be a ROM. Skip checks, ROM only. And uh, here we are, back in LaunchBox. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, if you already have a license, you know, you can use that big box mode. Big box mode is great, really good. I kind of like this mode as well because you you know it's easy with a mouse where a big box is not good with a mouse but if you're only using a controller or you're sitting away from your TV or something like that then big box is definitely the way to go. It's also more blingy. People like that. So overall really good. Um, I had, there's gonna, you're gonna run into some issues. For example, I wasn't able to get Killer Instinct to work. I think I need to either change the emulator pass or it's missing a CHD file. I haven't jumped into that yet. But all the other arcade games did work. It's just those higher end games uh, that do require some finessing. Uh, Nintendo DS does not work out of the box. You have to make that quick fix for it to work. Uh, but overall, to get somebody who's, you know, they've added all the images, they scraped all the artwork for you, they've given you the ROM packs, and whew, if you want retro, this has almost, I've, some of these systems I've never heard of before. So, you know, they're really digging deep as far as like all those classic games uh, that you may or may not have come across when you were a kid. So, for those of you who, you know, you're like, there's this one game I played as, a, I mean, you pro and if you were born in the eight, you know, the 80s or the 70s, you probably would find that game in this collection based on what I've seen so far. Um, and even if you're not one of those people, but you just want to explore and check out things, this is definitely an awesome image. Um, as you saw, very easy to set up. And, and LaunchBox is really user friendly. So once you get it, you can definitely customize it and, and get it till you're working. I kind of like having things that are kind of already kind of done for me because then it really does make the the process of learning it easier because you can kind of already see some things that have been done. You can see, okay, that works, that doesn't work, this works. And so by having that middle point, it's to me, is a lot easier if you're a learner by doing, then that'll help you out as well. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you do have any questions on this build, let me know. I do have it on my computer and I'm gonna be messing around with it for the next couple weeks. And um, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. A lot more videos coming out. Links in the description to all this stuff or in the comments and uh, more to come. Catch ya on the next one.